So I want to call on the faculty to join me on stage as we are going to have some brief prayer sessions. For them, we're going to pray in three categories. Please, Pastor Goki, you help me carry the oil. No, we'll do this one now. We'll call Gift for Love Foundation and then we'll be ready to go. Okay. Now, there are three set of prayer sessions we're going to be doing. Number one, we're going to pray for everybody in the school. It's called uh, an empowerment prayer. We want to commission them you know, by the force and the backing of prayer, by the prayer of God's leadership, that the strength and the grace to walk in what they have heard. Not he that hears, but he that what? He that do. So that's the first set, and uh, Pastor Jennifer and Pastor Daudu lead us in that set of prayer. Please, you can stand up as you pray for them. The authority in heaven we bless you. We thank you, Jesus, for the grace to come, for the grace to become like you. We thank you, Jesus, for the enablement you have given, for the access that you have given. We thank you. The whole earth look unto you. Thank you. For we also looked unto you and we are not ashamed. At the end of this training, we are not ashamed. We present before you able men that you have endowed with capacity to become what you have called them to become. We speak prophetically upon their life today. The grace and the power that they need that you have given them, it will not be wasted. This grace will be used. This grace will be used. This grace will not be abused. In the name of Jesus. You are Lord. The God of all flesh. That which you have begun in their life today. This words that we speak upon their life today. Lord in the next few days to come. These ones will be made. They will be made by you and not men anymore. In the name of Jesus. You have empowered men to speak into their life. The making is you. Lord will present them. They are made and decorated by you. In the name of Jesus. The capacity that you have given them. Lord Jehovah. We ask in the name of Jesus. Because we are leaders. These ones will lead their world. That who had called us into leadership. Lord, these ones are drawn into greater leadership. In the name of Jesus. The measure in which you have given us. This one will drink deeper. This one will drink deeper. This one will do greater. In the name of Jesus. It's always from glory to glory. We launch you into a better glory. We launch you into a higher glory. We launch you into a higher dimension. In God, in the name of Jesus. You will make success of this. You will make success of your life. You will make success of your marriage. You will make success of your career. Nothing dies anymore in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Your vision, they are coming to pass. Your dreams, they are going to be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven will be your God. And you will be his people forever and ever and ever. In the name of Jesus. You have been called by his name. The name of the God of Israel will defend you. That name will fight for you. That name will stand by you. By that name, you will conquer nations. By that name, you will conquer nations. By that name, nothing shall be impossible for you. In the name of Jesus. By that name, men will see and know of a truth. The Lord God of Israel is your God. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the morning of your life. You are blessed in the afternoon of your life. You are blessed in the evening of your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We we'll bless you, Jehovah. In Jesus' glorious and merciful name we are prayed. Shall we have our answer? By reason of this train, God is launching you out. 
into the first grade of mentorship it will not give you the capacity the enablement to drive on that mentorship to greater and greater levels of your career of your life in the spirit in the name of jesus god that has brought you this far will lead you through in the name of jesus god that has endowed with this knowledge will expose you to more dimension of the spirit in the name of jesus i pray today lord you will not graduate to the graduate again you will graduate for higher graduation as you have graduated in the physical god will graduate you in the spirit to higher realm in the name of jesus your graduation is is a dimension god is taking you to tell you that you are a replica of jesus you shall live by that name when they see you they will see christ in you when they see you they will see what god meant for men in you in the name of jesus you are blessed you are uplifted in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen so the second set of uh, set we're going to pray for there are people that uh, have uh, they are already into ministry they are pastors with assemblies of god we want to pray for empowerment with assemblies of god they are pastors here with a uh, four square the pastors here with uh, greater works ministry and then there are people that god has also given them their own work to to do so i'm going to be calling them out for prayer and then uh, pastor goke your sons are here pastor shalangwa and uh, sister joy so you lead a prayer for them they are into ministry and they're they already functioning in their ministry so i want to call out uh, pastor sharon shalangwa and pastor joy shalangwa you can come out so i'm going to be praying and anointing you for and also can you also join them pastor igwe joseph it's a pastor with assemblies of god in chagamu also pastor rutimi babalola is the national youth pastor for four square church and also pastor fidelis anuma is a pastor with a greater works ministry Okay. All right. So, Pastor Guke, you will pray for. Can we all stretch forth our hands to these ones and uh, ask that the hand of the Lord will come afresh upon them? Let's ask in the name of Jesus, as you also pray for yourselves, that the hands of God will come afresh. The hands of God let the mighty hand of god come afresh let the mighty hand of god come afresh let him who has called you let him who has called you according to his grace and mercy him who has brought you into his field by his mercy let him lay his hand upon you afresh 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 let that be an afresh uh -huh. let the hand of god come anew let the hand of god come on you as we shall be laying hands upon you great things shall happen to you here great things apostle paul said do not forget the gift of god that is in you by the laying hands of the presbyterians in the name of the lord gifts shall be stirred up in you afresh gifts shall be stirred up in you afresh gifts of the spirit shall be stirred up in you and there shall be fresh supply fresh supply of the spirit in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, le koto shahandi de keto suza kanda pokoto embrako bara kato zuzia gada ikoto suzi ikili basa kata ja da 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 pa suza. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Strength, 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 strength strength yes there is a journey i am asking for speed for you i'm asking for speed i'm asking for speed i'm asking for speed strength like that of an ego yes strength like that of an ego in the name of jesus speed speed the lord is doubling your speed the lord is doubling your speed your your feet is becoming stronger 
in the name of Jesus le kosha handi de ketosuza adoko baraka tosuza gada pokotosia indodoza agada balaba shiketo imbraku baruku tusi ikituzia adudu kata basuza yes lord fresh vision fresh vision fresh vision fresh vision fresh vision Hey, revelation of Jesus afresh. Revelation of Jesus afresh. Revelation of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Eleko shaham brokoto etete suza katale egedia rokoto komba baba zikida kata e rokoto suza imbroko to zi ikituza elebo shakata le brokoto. Yes, yes. Yes, the hand of God is coming upon you. Yes, fertility for the nations. Fertility for the nations. Fertility for the nations. For this shall be a fruit of the nations. This shall be a fruit of the nations. Yes, this shall be a fruit of the nations. Yes, sons and children for the nations. Sons and children for the nations. In the nations of the earth, your union shall be a fruit. Yes, your union shall be a fruit of the nations. Strength to conceive. Strength to conceive in the nations of the earth. In the nations of the earth. We release upon you. We release strength. Strength. Hallelujah. Yabalaba shikendo suza. Ambro koto koto si ikidia. Rokoto suza. Etuduku barakando kopro koto shikalabalaba siya. Endia karukutu sakata. Aya light. Aya light. For with him is the fountain of life. In his light we see light. In his light we see light. In his light we see light. For in him was life, and his light is the light of man. From today, we speak light, light, light. Oh, no longer the sun to rule you by day, not the moon to rule you by the night. But the Lord himself shall be your eternal light in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, as a people of God, we speak new level of energy. New level of energy. New level of energy. In the name of Jesus. There is new vision coming to somebody among you. Yes, the Lord is giving you new vision. I see the Lord, I, I see the Lord take away a glasses like as if you are not seeing clearly and I've seen that taken away for your vision is corrected for your vision is corrected in the name of Jesus oh we send you forth as arrows are in the hands of the warrior you shall not miss your target you shall not miss your target it does not matter the wind the gravity of the wind it shall make you to become stronger you shall eat your target and the name of the Lord, the Lord shall be glorified. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Thank you, Pastor Guki Adishida. The third uh, set is in a uh, two-part. We have a pastoral team in the uh, Living School Ministry, the larger body that does uh, our life mentorship and other works that we do. And we have our 10 pastors. And I, I let them know that it's a pastoral college. A lot of them have their gifts and they have their calling. And so, and I told them that I don't believe in endless discipleship. So, and I told them I was going to commission three of them into their own work. And they will step down from our leadership so that I can go and set the, do the work that God has called them to, to do. And so, I was going to be calling them out so that I'm going to pray for them. Some of them started working in Abuja, in Lagos, in Akure again. So, I want to call Elder... Peter Dobame of the Daniel 10 Initiative. Abuja. He has served his loss in our pastoral team as one of the pastors of Living School Ministry. But he has a work. We are still ministry partners, but God has commissioned the work in his hand. And I said, I'll not take that work away from him. Go and do what God has asked you to do. Even though they were resisting, I said, to what? Go. Also, Pastor Femi Olajubu. 
when me and my son was surprised when I announced it to them that I'm going to send him out. Yes, uh, it's time to what? You go, you will be a son forever. I go and become father. Father. And also the third person is uh, Pastor Temi Tope Ujo Babatunde. So, the South Detours in the pastoral leadership and uh, Pastor Timmy Topper is your son. Yes, and uh, before I met him, he has been your son. So, I will give you the privilege to pray for them and then uh, commission them into the work that God has given them. We are still together. We are working as a team. I'm with them. They are with me, but they have the liberty to go and do what God has called them to do. If I give birth to his son, give birth to children, and the true joy of father is to see your children what have their family thank you, sir. father we thank you for your children father we thank you for the eternal love we thank you for their place in you we thank you for what you have given them the precious thing you have given them the lord jesus christ announced his ministry he said the spirit of the lord god is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor to heal the broken hearted to declare liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to those who are bound to declare the acceptable year of the lord what is ministry is your ministry what he received he received for you he said he has sent him to give men beauty for their ashes, oil of joy in place of money, and garment of praise in place of spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of a God that he may be glorified. This is what the essence of what he said. He said that I said that they may inhabit the waste places and build the former desolations. The oil of the Lord is coming upon you now to go and build the waste places for him. On this altar, the God of heaven is commissioning you by the power of his spirit, by the strength of his spirit, by the power of his spirit, by the strength of his spirit, and by the authority of his name. Go and build for the Lord. This man dead goes before you. The banner of the living Jesus goes ahead of you. Go and build for the Lord. Go and build the waste places. Go and build the desolate places. Go and take territories for the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In this Monday. Kotali di akabo tali kali da kula tili mahali saidi. In this mandate, the angels of God are assigned to assist you. In the name of Jesus, roti kili akamo tana tili sidaku tili ni ikibu kwana kaili ne sehiri. The inheritance of the Lord shall prosper in your hand. In the name of Jesus, the inheritance of the Lord shall prosper in your hand. It shall be said of you and your ministry that the Lord is with you. Amen. It shall be said of you and your ministry that the Lord is with you. In the name of Jesus, Maiko, Kata, Liki, Dilu, Liari, Amahali, Mauta, Kidi, Akuta, Nina, Sida, Halia. Wherever he's sending you in his name, it will be a heaven on earth. In the name of Jesus, Eludi kaida kapoka tani dia kelu ya disidia. The signs of the saint shall be with you. The signs of the saint ones shall be with you. The signs of the saints shall be with you. Lido kali tiali na kopi kiate mota kali na tuti yasi yaku kali masihilia. Udi rakibia katoni keni ateluni alisida kahali matani no siedi hilia. The mandate of God is upon you to turn deserts into pools of water. To turn dry lands into pools of water. My kidi luara 
Raike Bukwati Nisaidi Hadia to feed the sheep of the Lord with the integrity of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you shall never lack what to feed this flock with. In the name of Jesus, any rukidi kaita kulida mi isihilia, day by day, the supplies of heaven shall be made available for you. Shall be made available for you. Day by day without faith, the supplies of heaven shall be made available for you. Shall be made available for you. Shall be made available for you. We agree here. We receive divine co-workers for you. Mark and send by God. That we make the work of the Lord easy for you. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. And receive the grace to feed them. Receive the grace to father them. Receive the grace to lead them. Receive the grace to, to direct them. You will see with the eyes of the Lord. You will know with the mind of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Naika tibu kana hali. Nakuti ka itaria. Raikete tolira maha. Iki kwatane. Niatikuli keli itali. Maurikane mokane seti tauli hilia. Your land is fruitful. Your land is fruitful. Your land is fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Master we praise your name. God of heaven we bless your name. Thank you for leading them. Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Thank you so much. I did not sit on your calling, and I know by the help of God, you will not sit on people's calling. Thank you. God bless you. I know you understand this thing that I've done, and uh, by eventually, don't understand it in fullness. We'll understand it later. God bless you. Can you go back to your seat? And then the final set of prayers there is no vacuum in the spirit. As two, three people are leaving our leadership, we are going to be bringing two people on board. Our leadership team is like a, a hands-on pastoral college where people join us and will help to bring out their calling. Yes, as they have joined, they have been with us for like two years. Yes, they are two years. They've been with us for like two years in the leadership, pastoral leadership for two years. Mama, you were there when we did the ordination 2021 for Pastor Femi, Pastor Temi Tokpe, yes, and then Pastor Victor. So Victor is in the United States. And uh, for Pastor Adubame joined us in 2022. So all they are all less than three years. And uh, so we're going to bring two more people into our pastoral team with a specific office. I'll announce their office later. And the first person is Pastor Mary Azubike. <laughs> into the pastoral team of Living Scroll Ministry and their life mentorship school. So they function in pastoral capacity. Sister Mary husband is Pastor Nameka Zubike, and uh, the second person is, uh, I can't see the other name now, I have to call the main name, Pastor Grace David. Sweet sweet love. <laughs> I didn't say Pastor, sweet sweet love. <laughs> yes. So, Pastor Jennifer, we praying for them. She's our matron. We stand up first. Their, space, their office is simple. We are starting a life shine and thin for children, and teenagers. So when Mama was talking, she was just talking from the spirit, right? So I, uh, that is the office that Sister Mary is going to head. Amen. Sister Mary was recently voted as the woman of the year in the church. Ah. And part of the when they were voting, people were saying the way she takes care of, she's gifted. In that area and so bringing her into the pastoral college of living truth ministry is to bring out that gift in her and so we're going to create a platform for her to exercise this gift so we're going to be starting a, a life child and thing now these are life mentorship school the child and thing for children that are grown of a reading age up until teenager so and how we're going to be doing it we'll be running summer schools for them six hours maybe in a week i'm giving an example the template to fully come out maybe six hours in a, a three times a week maybe like six hours per day three times maybe monday wednesday friday there about that six hours they will meet three hours will teach them about life will teach them about uh, god will teach them about life teach them about relationship will teach them reading culture we'll how to imbibe in them how to read and then we'll sometimes we'll teach them about uh, 
you know, we'll teach them about public speaking, how to boost their confidence, or everything to prepare them for this new world. Because this is our present classroom now is not prepared for the next world. It's not prepared for the world that we're in, our academic structure. So it's an alternate education for the child and for teenagers. And six hours, three hours will be, we'll teach them, we'll talk to them, we'll mentor them by example, by stuff. But three hours is for skill acquisition. We want them to get skill. So if they are spending six hours in class, I hope you will clap. It's a noble in initiative. So if they are going to spend six hours in the class, and this is the venue they will be meeting during their summer school displays. And then they will meet six hours in class. We use three hours to tutor them, to talk to them about life, about relationship, about career, boost their career, how to relate amongst their pair, and all kinds of things that prepare them for life. And then three hours is we teach them maybe digital skills. We are going to bring people here that will impart skills to them, depend on the, in their area of uh, interest. You want to learn videography, you want to learn uh, programming, you want to learn robotics, you want to learn. Uh, uh this ui what they call it ui us and stuff like that so and that's what sister mary is going to be functioning it it's a very big portfolio it's a big portfolio that is very very close to my heart already we have people uh, sending their children to to join already and also we have one that also we're doing it on site and also virtual so if we meet with them three times a week or like that then once in a week again we'll meet with them virtually through their parents phone well, we'll give them assignment, we'll work together with their parents. These are the things we've told your child to do, help us encourage the child and do it. So we meet, they can meet virtually. And then by the time they're going to be meeting virtually, they'll be meeting another team of teen and children. But those ones will be happening from Pastor Femi will be coordinating that. So that's his work. He already has children with him, both outside the country and in Nigeria, that's already training. You know, we need to take this battle to the ground, to the floor. We can't wait till adult again. When you meet, uh, when you meet, when you meet somebody in the university, I'm folding this in like a brother. When you meet somebody in university, uh, uh, level one, the person is already a gay. So how, where are you going to start from? We need to tell them who we, we need to tell them the difference between a man and a woman. So some people are already calling in from outside the country. They want their children to enroll and stuff like that. So we have that, but. The one that will be on site and the one that will be virtual, a life shared and thing. And then my wife has been so successful in marriage, and I've seen her have a gift to talk to women. So she will be, there is a, an aspect of our work we'll be doing called Proudly the Woman. Proudly the Woman. I've told some of these young men that are women that are pregnant, say, Come and see my wife. I've told some of them. How to guide you guide them through a pregnant young pregnancy you can be pregnant have a relation with your husband you know that time a lot of things scatter you don't understand your wife your wife does not understand you you know parenting uh, uh, how to nurse children and then you know young ladies to advise them generally so that's young ladies in that comes out i don't have the energy to do all of those ones you know but she has the grace and then the strength to do it and the gift to do it so she will be in charge of those on those are their portfolio and also all right you can clap so we're going to pray for them and ordain them to the pastoral office of a living school thank you praise god so our church members you see is it ministry evangelist he told us about ministry within what ministry. ministry within the ministry that is the only way we are victorious the mighty God how excellent is your name you are the mighty God how excellent is your name you are the glorious God <laughs> glorious God, glorious is your name. Some few weeks ago, I was announced in NYC as the director in charge of skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development program. And as the 
calling of Sister Mary was being announced. And I said, this is the reason. Because every one of us who got the promotion to the place of directorship in NYC were transferred out. I was the only one that was not transferred. So I said, this must be the reason why God kept me here and gave me skill acquisition and entrepreneurship. So I have well over 300 trainers in Undo State who are into various skills that are under the NYC skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development program. As soon as this, your vision starts, when the skill aspects start, by the grace of God, they will be working with you. I have one of them here, one of my sons here. He left the orientation camp just for this convocation. He's doing essentially well in NYC and he's teaching simply Babi. And his class is one of the largest class. So as these children come with you with their interest of skill by God's grace, we will be fishing out those trainers who will come and offer it by God's grace for free. So that aspect is settled. Mama Mary, I have no, Mama Grace, I have no doubt she's going to function well in that room. In Greater Works Ministry, by the special grace of God, she's the leader in charge of young mothers fellowship in Greater Works Ministry, where she has, as you marry, you're already a young mother. Till you give birth until your marriage is being nurtured to 10 years, you are under her. So I don't have any doubt that this is a success work already and that this is by the Spirit. And so by the grace of God, the anointing oil. Right from the days of the Bible leadership have been known. Priesthood have been known by the anointing. Please let the men of God join me. This is ordination for pastors. This is a, a higher... We anoint you in the name of God the Father. This cease to be an ordinary oil. This is the grace to function. In the name of God the Son, we anoint you. By the Spirit of the living God, we anoint you. This is an ordination by God himself. For this you were born. We speak upon you, dear Pastor Mary. You will fulfill this calling. You will not just bear the name Pastor. By your appearance from today, by your works from today, by your dealing with your husband, your children, and your word, it shall be said, this is a woman of God. We ordain you, Pastor Mary, and we pronounce the blessings of God upon you. You will function. In this office, you will function. You will not disappoint heaven. Children are going to be put in your cares. What it takes to nurture them for God. That grace is released upon your life today. In the name of Jesus. What it takes. The emotional intelligence you need. To look at a child. And know what is lacking. The God of heaven give it to you today. In the name of Jesus. What it takes to identify them. And put them in their places. And make them an army for God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Mary, you are blessed. From this blessing that you are blessed today, you will bless nations. Children will come to this light. And they will receive this light. In the name of Jesus. By this anointing, lights are given back to. Light in the name of Jesus. And by this, your ordination. Nations will hear of this. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. For we only know when you began a thing. The end of it, we don't know. We thank you for the end is great. We thank you for this end is great. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus.
Mama Grace Abubaka. You've been sweet, sweet love to every one of us. You have made it so easy for your husband's calling to find expression. From the day we married you, you have submitted in a way that is amazing. Your home has become the home of all. You accommodate young and old. Your heart is opened to follow your husband to see that he succeeds. It's not sleeping, you are not sleeping. It's not eating, you are not eating. God has blessed Pastor Dave with you. We anoint you today. It pleases heaven to make you to be a partner with him. Not just by marriage, but even in the place of ministry. There are so many pastors that are not pastors. But God has called you out today among all to become a pastor with your husband. We anoint you for that grace. Mommy me grace in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The anointing are running. The oil is running and is overflowing. So shall be the blessings of God upon your life. An overflowing blessing. An overflowing honor. An overflowing grace to function in this capacity. To mentor women. To stand for women. To speak for women. To help women. To guide women through the journeys of life. We anoint you for that function. And every other function that God leading your heart and the heart of your husband into in the name of jesus there is no limit to the calling there's no limit to this calling you will function well you will lead well the grace that you need the words that you need the power that you need the endurance that you need the strength that you need the lord release it unto you today in the name of jesus mommy grace you are blessed blessed with wisdom blessed with knowledge blessed with understanding in the name of jesus pastor grace in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we call you Pastor Grace. You will function as a pastor. In the life of your children, you will be their pastor. In your husband's life, you will be a pastor. In your home, you will be a pastor. Among your mother's siblings, you will be a pastor. Among your own siblings, you will be a pastor. Among your father's household, you will be a pastor. And among the world, you will be a pastor. You pastor till Jesus comes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Dave. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, Mama. Okay, all right. Yes, sir. All right, so rounding up now with uh, this, we'll do this one, then we'll give our benediction. For gift for love uh, foundation, we want to see the floor to them to give out the empowerment for for the women. Please can sit down. Please uh, can sit down. Can all be seated. Quick one. We'll soon be out of here. Some people are still traveling. Some people seated there. They have administration in their local assembly in Lagos tomorrow. Tomorrow and uh, some will still be traveling as far as. Uh, Maybe Shagam was stuff like that. So, all right, Gift for Love Foundation. Please, can we put our hands together? It's a foundation based in the United Kingdom. Please, can every of the team member join me here? Thank you so much. So this is um, a very phenomenal moment in this um, graduation ceremony. Gift for Love Charity Foundation is um, a foundation based that operates both in Nigeria and the United Kingdom, founded by Dr. Kautumi Akubo. It's an organization that exists solely to spread the love of God to the neediest of the needy. And James chapter 1 verse 27 says that pure and undefiled religion before God is to cater for the orphans, the widows, and for everyone that is in need. And that is why this organization exists. So at this point, uh, this partnership and collaboration is a fusion of, of, um, of kingdom-minded organizations and institutions coming together to fulfill this sole aim 
or reaching out with the love of God to everyone. So at this point, I'll be calling Pastor Mrs. Grace David Abubakar to come and help with this session. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, just in a quick one, we have uh, um, 30 women, selection of 30 women that we are just going to be giving the token this morning. We have their name, so as I call your name, please you just come forward and pick your gift and um, also a transport in addition to it so that you can be able to transport yourself home. Number one, we have uh, Mrs. Joseph and Niola. We have Mrs. Esther Collins. We have Mrs. Orion Doris. Mrs. Fisayo Afolabi. Mrs. Doris, We have Mrs. Victory Hope. Mrs. Casimo Samuel. Mrs. Momo. Okay. Mrs. Buscola Momo. Mrs. Ajayi. Mrs. Ojo. Mrs. Toyi. Ojo, Mrs. Miriam Razak, Mrs. Bideke Gabriel, Mrs. Alice, Mama Chinyere. Mrs. Okpe Oshai Nibi. Mrs. Isola Victoria. Mrs. Abiola Owo Nibi. Mrs. Bidemi Bosse. Mrs. Paul, Mrs. Caroline Obundare, Mrs. Soyinka Feyi Sara, Mommy Abigail, Mrs. Omolehi. Mrs. Adetunji, Mrs. Taiwo Kemi, Mrs. 
this is Akiyemi Temitokwe. Mrs. Patient Ita. Mrs. James Yesufu. Mrs. Bumi Aleji. Mrs. Igwe. Mrs. Foluke. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? You don't give because you have SS. You give because you have a good heart. So they are not giving because there is abundance, but because there is need to help. And I want us to cultivate it in our hearts. Let's be a blessing to our generation. Let's empower people. Let's help the needy. And that is the essence of our Christian work. Father, we thank you. Can we just in a moment pray for this foundation? Father, we thank you for this foundation. Thank you. Bless them. Provide for them. Grace them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And if you want to also be a partner, because every year we'll be having convocation. Every year we'll be having convocation. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Yeah. We'll be having convocation like this. I know some of you will be asking, when is the next batch? I want to be a student. Um, is there the good news waiting for you? Pastor, are you coming to give us the good news now? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of us will be wondering, how come you didn't tell me about this school? Is it a secret cult? How do I go about it? It's not a secret cult. It's a kingdom school. We are online. If you have your smartphone, you can just go to www.alifementorshipschool.com you will see everything about us everything about us this program runs once in a year i mean once every year and it is six months six months one man of god said something so um profound he said distance is not a barrier where value is added so you know the six months you wish it's never ended. Do you have witness in the house? Students, shout hallelujah! It, it was six months of great impact, of community building, of empowerment. And I'm, I can tell you for free that nobody here is the same again. And we are praying that we'll be better people in Jesus' name. So if you're interested in the school, you can... Um, register by march no by january you register by january but the school starts by march uh, the, the, the site will be active for registration january but the school will start in ns march 2025 and it will span for just six months just six months what are the things we do there we talk about your economic life we talk about your relational life we talk about your divine life and it will give you a mentorship guide I know some of the students here they know what I'm talking about because you don't have enough time you could have just told us one or two things that you have learned over the years but we don't have time but if you want to hear some of those testimonials go to the website you will see some students giving so, so um, profound testimony about the journey and I wish to invite you to this school. And the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Okay, we meet. It's a virtual meeting. We don't come to congregate like this physically. 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. That means 12 midnight. That's the minimum hours we spend. Students, that minimum or maximum? The fear of our life is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> you will understand what I'm talking about here. But that school has to do with discipline. You don't log in late and you're not expected to doze. You are a soldier. You're not a police of the Lord. You are a soldier of the cross. Hallelujah. That's, that's um, by the way. So we meet 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Um, fortnightly. No, not fortnightly. First week and third week. Yes, first week of every month and third week of every month. We meet from, we meet Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. And when we are done, we come for a retreat. We have been here for the past, how many days now? Three days. We came here Thursday. Friday was powerful and God has been blessing us. So this is the grand finale of what we have been doing and the Lord, we know the Lord has helped us in Jesus name oh there is a caveat to that the class want to be a controlled class so it's not for more than 50 people it's a controlled class yeah because if we don't control it we may have a thousand and one people who wants to register but we will be having just 50 serious minded people serious minded people I will pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Okay. Registration. Okay. So how much is the registration fee? No, no. Can you make it louder? Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Yeah, there are some courses. I work in a corporate world. There are some courses we take and we know how much we pay for those courses. We pay heavily for those courses. We have less value. And we spend maybe some minutes. But you have three hours for how many months? And you are not paying a dime. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it's actually free. It's actually free. And some of you may be thinking, how do I partner with um, this school? How do I partner with the ministry? How can I be a blessing? The room is open for you. The room is open for you. You can always contact us if you want to partner with us, if you want to partner with the, uh, with the school, and we can actually work together. And I know, that, um, I know that the Lord himself will reward our labor of love in Jesus' name. Amen. So at this point... We are about to bring the meeting to a close. Pastor, do you have a closing remark? Okay. Pastor, can we appreciate this man of God? Can we appreciate him? Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor David Abubakar. Thank you, all the faculties, all our special guests. Thank you, Barrister. Thank you, everyone that has come to witness this great occasion. And I pray that the Lord himself will bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So can we be on our feet? In the course of the class, there were so many students that were phenomenal. Active students, dedicated students, students that would do their assignment on time. We want to say thank you. Thank you and thank you. And keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. And students, you are also reminded that you are given grace of bringing at one person. So students, you are given the grace, grace to bring one person. One, one person to be a, 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 a student for the next batch. And I, I want you to utilize that opportunity. It is first come, first serve. Don't say you come at the last moment. No. Early to bed, early to rise. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Can we appreciate God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, our God. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for what you have done in our midst.
Thank you for this journey. Thank you for your servants you have used mightily. Thank you for your grace, for your spirit in our midst. Thank you for educating us. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for directing us. Thank you for everything that has been done today. Be thou exalted, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Okay, before we share the grace, I was told that we're going to be having group photograph. Please don't be in a hurry to go. Secondly, the gown, of course, you are disciplined. You are expected to return on time. Hallelujah. And let everything be done. Sorry? Okay, I should give a date. The date for the return of the gown is... 0709-2024. Is it mathematically correct? Hallelujah. Okay, time is 15... <laughs> 18... Let me learn from my pastor. 1800 West African time. Any penalty for late return? A fine of hallelujah. I'm happy that we are in a good mood. So let me tell you, Christianity is not very difficult. It's a life. Don't fake it. Live your life. Live your life. Jesus never did crusade. He was just living life. See people, talk to them. No special program for Jesus. There was no special program Jesus anchored. His conversation with you was a special program. His wedding attendance was a special program. So everything about Jesus was his ministry. So I want you to go with this consciousness. As you live, you are living the life. Can we sing? Alive, alive, alive for Jesus. Who help me? Somebody help me. Baba, let's sing together. Right. <laughs> I want to use a voice. Who help us? Volunteer, come, let's sing together. Jesus. One more time. Allah. Allah forevermore. The sting of the is gone. Allah in me. I have eternal life for my Savior is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, my Savior is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, my Savior is Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Jesus is alive. Woo! One person that came to this earth that shook the whole earth. He's still shaking us. We are crazy about him. Obsessed about him. So Jesus, you are alive. Nobody has ever put late Jesus. Nobody can tell it. Jesus is alive. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of you may want to um, um, partner with us financially. You are expecting for us to pass bow. We don't really pass bow. But if you want to, maybe later on, you feel like partnering with us, I can just give us our account number. In one minute, I will call the account number with Zenit Bank PLC. 1013 39395740 Living Scroll Ministry. Can I say it again? 10139375740 Living Scroll 
ministry. If you are led by the Spirit, or you feel like what I saw here is beautiful, and God is leading you to be part of what we are doing here, please feel free. We must proclaim the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We must walk while it is day. So please, we appreciate your financial contribution. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies are following us. All the days of our life. And we are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.